November 22, 1955 For the first time, the Soviet Union conducted a test of the RDS-37 thermonuclear bomb, launched from a Tupolev Tu-16 Bagdur strategic bomber at the Semipalatinsk Polygon, Siberia. The RDS-37 was the Soviet Union's first thermonuclear bomb, successfully tested, using a fusion stage design mechanism similar to the teller ULAM design from the United States. With a fusion stage design, the RDS-37 utilized fusion reactions to produce much greater explosive power than fission bombs, such as conventional atomic bombs. This marked a significant step in the nuclear arms race during the Cold War. The RDS-37 was designed by Soviet physicist Andrei Sakharov, who played an important role in the design and research of thermonuclear technology. The RDS-37 was an advanced version of the RDS-6 bomb, which was previously tested as an unboosted thermonuclear bomb. The RDS-37 bomb, dropped from the Tu-16, marked the Soviet Union's ability to deploy thermonuclear weapons via air platforms. The Tu-16 bomber was a strategic jet-powered aircraft designed to carry nuclear weapons to distant targets. Speaking of power, the RDS-37 bomb had a yield of around 1.6 megatons of TNT, which is equivalent to more than 100 times the power of the Hiroshima bomb. The radius of destruction reached several kilometers, with the shockwave destroying the surrounding infrastructure, during the test, the shockwave of the explosion was larger than expected and caused damage to the nearby city of Kerchatov, as well as buildings and facilities around the test site. Several members of the scientific team were nearly injured by the impact, highlighting the great risks of testing high-explosive weapons. From a launch platform, the RDS-37 was designed to be carried by bombers such as the Tu-16 and Tu-95. The RDS-37 design became the basis for subsequent Soviet thermonuclear bombs, including those that were lighter, more powerful, and more compatible with modern delivery systems. Bombs such as the RDS-220 or Tsar Bomba, although much larger, used many of the design principles first tested in the RDS-37. The Tu-16 was capable of carrying up to 9,000 kilograms of weapons in its bomb compartment, while the RDS-37 is estimated to weigh around 3,000 to 5,000 kilograms, the average early thermonuclear bomb weighed in this range, although specific data may vary. This means that the Tu-16 could technically carry one RDS-37 bomb per mission. The dimensions of the RDS-37 thermonuclear bomb were not fully disclosed by the Soviet Union at the time, as the information was classified as a military secret. However, based on available information, the bomb was estimated to be 3.6 meter long and 1.4 meters in diameter.